Have you ever lost some of your music? Lost any beats, any samples, any loops, session files? Have you just lost files in general? I'm going to show you how to stop that today. When it comes to computers and your personal data, you need to make sure you have a backup. Goes without saying. And there are several ways to do this. The first way you can do this is buy yourself an external drive. But if that external drive dies and you've been putting everything on there, you've lost it. I remember when I was at college, my old lecturer used to say to me, if your file doesn't exist in three places, it doesn't actually exist. And that's stuck with me for years because it's like, right, I've made a copy of it. But if that copy dies, then it's gone and I lose my machine and it's gone. So you need to make sure you have it saved in multiple locations. So over the years, I've been looking into methods to do this and the method that I'm using today and currently and I've been using for the last good couple of years, I use Dropbox. Now this isn't a paid sponsorship or I'm not being paid to say this, but this is what I use at the moment and I'll show you the reasons why. With Dropbox, what you can actually do is you download the application onto your computer and it sits on your machine as a constant synchronization device and it will give you a folder. So any files you put in that folder, it will instantly upload them to the cloud, which is completely amazing because now you don't have to actually worry about creating a backup. You know it gets taken care of instantly and automatically. When you start running a business and you're getting serious with your music or any of your creative ideas, you want to focus most of your time on that and you don't want to spend all your time worrying about backups, worrying about this and that because you've got so many other things to deal with, like accounting and taxes and stuff. So try to automate as much as you can to save time and save brain power so you can f allocate that time to doing stuff that's fun. So how I run my setup is all of my live projects, all of my live presets, all of that sort of stuff is saved in my Dropbox folder. So every time I press Command S on Ableton, the file instantly saves to the cloud. And that way I'll never lose a file ever again. Another cool thing about Ableton is it's not file hungry, as in like it always wants to collect files and samples. I don't really work like that. I have a folder on my computer that has all my drum kits in. And every time I make a new beat, I'm just referencing those new sounds in that same location. Some other programs out there, every time you import a kick or a snare into your session, now that's made a copy of it. And that's going to take up hard drive space. So try and avoid those sort of scenarios. Try to reference files in a certain location and just keep referencing and using them. They'll get used in your RAM on your computer. Now you could also keep all your drum kits saved in Dropbox. That is definitely an option just to make sure everything is saved. But I don't actually do that at the moment. I've got my drum kits backed up on like two to three different hard drives. And every now and then I'll just update them. So there's many ways to do this stuff. Do what feels comfortable for you, but make sure your Ape and Live project files are always backed up to the cloud. Now, unfortunately guys, Dropbox isn't a free application. It's most definitely paid. But if you're running a business, you're trying to sell your music, these are the things you need to invest into. So C is an investment, not necessarily a loss. So first thing you need to do is search Dropbox and I'm gonna show you how to get the best price. And when you first get on this website, the first thing you're gonna see is Dropbox Business. I think this is their main model and their main scheme um, because I think teams use this mainly. So if you go to compare plans, you'll see the prices. So professional is like 16.58 a month, standard 10 pound a month, all these different things. Now these are for Dropbox business. Now if we actually want to go back a page, you'll start to see there's a little tab at the top here that says see individual and team plans. So this isn't Dropbox business. This is like Dropbox plus now. And this is like the OG Dropbox of what I still use. Now you can see here, you get two terabytes, which is more than enough. Um, you get all this other fancy smancy stuff. So yeah, it's really up to you which plan you're going to run with. I recommend using the Dropbox Plus plan and maybe paying monthly just because if something new comes out that's better than Dropbox, you can switch over and move all your files and you're not locked in for a year on a system. You know, technology is changing every day. I always find being more flexible is a lot more valuable to me when it comes to this sort of stuff. So once you've signed up for Dropbox and you've subscribed, it will take you to a window where you can download the application and install it on your computer. Once you download Dropbox, what you'll find is you have a little application at the top here if you're using Mac and you'll see all of the stuff that you're uploading to the folder. So I'm going to open my finder window now and I'm going to show you my Dropbox folder. So my Dropbox folder is here. I have a folder here called Live. I've got about 66 gig worth of stuff in here. This isn't just Beats though. I've got like videos and stuff in here, like additional things to the Beats though. 
So all my live projects are over here. So I have them organized in different genres just so I can tap in. And you know, when I'm working with artists and I'm in the studio, people are like, have you got any beats like this? I just go from my folders and I find it. If I'm working with a singer, R&B guys would be like, let me look at my R&B folder. And I have everything organized in years. So I remember, oh, I remember I made a beat maybe last year. I look in that folder, I could find it much quicker. So I've got a and Live session here. We're going to pretend I've made the most amazing beat ever. And I'm going to go to File and I'm going to press Save As. Now you can choose where you want to save your stuff. I'm just going to put this in where I usually put my stuff. I'm just going to call this um, Fake Beat. Right? Now, watch what happens with Dropbox. As soon as I press Save, you'll see my Dropbox icon uploading. You see it? And you can click on it and you'll see syncing, synchronizing two files. And now it's just uploaded that file. So if I go to my Dropbox, recent, you see fake beat, it's just been added instantly to Dropbox. So I'm not thinking about my backups. It's been done for me and I have peace of mind and I can just begin creating and having a good time. So make sure you always have a backup, whether that's cloud-based or on an external hard drive. If you're going to buy a hard drive, I recommend you buy the Samsung T5 um, SSD ones mainly because they're quicker. So you can install plugins on here, which means you can open them quicker if you don't have enough space on your computer. And they're really small and portable. And they're pretty sturdy, man, because they're SSD, there's no working parts in them. So you have less opportunities to break them. So check those out. Obviously not a paid sponsorship, just giving you some advice of the stuff that I use. Yeah, so my camera died towards the end of this video. Um, so I just want to say, if you enjoyed this tutorial, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.